Hello my dear students and viewers, welcome to my channel Scorpio class. In this video, we are going to discuss the revised syllabus of class 8 history, Sindhu Saraswati civilizations, question and answer. This is the third chapter of your history, lesson, history part and the previous lessons question and answers are already been done and the video is uploaded in my channel. The video link will be shared in the description box and also in the i button above. You can click the link and watch, and watch the entire notes of the previous chapters. So let's get started with today's chapter and its question and answers. Before starting, it's a suggestion for you all to stay tuned till the end as this video is going to be very helpful for you all. So let's get started. But before that, my dear viewers, if you're watching my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Also like the video and share it with your friends. And my dear students and viewers, also subscribe Scorpio Class Hindi and Scorpio Class Kids channel as these channels are going to bring number of videos which are going to be very helpful for all the children of class 7, 8, 9 and 10 with the Hindi notes, Hindi syllabus, Hindi explanation and it's in the channel. And the Scorpio Class Kids are going to bring number of beautiful videos for the small kids. So subscribe to the channel and share as much as possible with your friends. Now let's move ahead with today's question and answer session. So we have answered the below questions in one sentences. So first question, how old is Rig Veda as on today? Answer, historians have proved that the timeline of Rig Veda is older than 3000 BCE. At the least, Rig Veda is 5,000 years old as on today. Question two, which are the Sapta Sindhu rivers? Answer, the Sapta Sindhu rivers are Sindhu, Vitasta, that is Jhelum, As Asikni, Chenap, Parushni, Ravi, Vipasha, Peace, Shutudri, Satlej and Saraswati. Okay, so these are the names of Sapta Sindhu rivers. Next question. In which year was Kalibangan region discovered? Answer. Kalibangan region was discovered in the year 1917. Fourth question. Which year were the ancient civilization traces found in Harappa? Answer. The ancient civilization traces were found in Harappa in the year 1921. Next fifth question. What are the symbols or pictures found on the seals of Sindhu civilization? Answer. The symbols or pictures found on the seals of Sindhu civilization were Rushabha, that is bull, the leaf of the sacred figure, that is people or Ashwatha. Then Rishabha, that is Shiva's vehicle. The leaf of a fig figure, fig tree, that is Yajna Vrukha, and different yoga and namaskara postures. Okay, so these were the symbols which are found on the seals of Sindhu civilization. Next question six Which town was the primary center for sea trade? Answer. Lothal was the primary center for sea trade. Seventh question. List out the tribes of Vedic period. Answer. Bharata, Puru, Anu, Druhyu, Truvasha, and Yadu were the tribes of the Vedic period. Next eighth question. Which site had the system of Rainwater harvesting. Answer Dolavira site had the system of rainwater harvesting. Next, ninth question Who has said that Aryan migration theory is wrong? Answer The architect of Indian constitution, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, had said that Aryan migration theory is wrong. Tenth question. The dimension of towns of Sindhu Saraswati civilization 
match the mentions of which literary work? Answer. The dimensions of towns of Sindhu Saraswati civilization match the mentions of literary work of Vaidika band of Chatapata Brahmana and Shulabha Sutras. Next question. Now we have second main. Answer the following questions in three to four sentences. Question number is continued. It's question number 11 as per your textbook. How were the traces of Sindhu Saraswati civilization found? Answer. Around 1921, technicians at Punjab's Sindhu Valley discovered some Harappan sites when they were laying rails. They appeared as mounds made of best quality of earthen bricks. They used these bricks as sleepers for rails. They found several more such buildings in the due course of time, after which the archaeologists took up ground research. The archaeologists were convinced that those buildings were part of a town. Thus, the traces of Sindhu Saraswati civilization were found. Next, twelfth question. What are the materials or items found during the archaeological excavation of Sindhu Saraswati site? Answer. Earthen bricks, burnt clay bricks, ground level tank, well arranged granaries, metals and precious stones, beads and seals, pots, bangles made of metals and shell materials, seals with different figures on it, etc. were the material or items found during the archaeological excavation of Sindhu Saraswati sites. Next, 13th question. Explain the construct of baths of the civilization. Answer. The baths were built with bricks. Precautions were taken to ensure the structure was leak-proof. Stairs were located at two sides of the tank, which had rooms built all around. Perhaps the water to this tank was supplied from a nearby well, and the water was drained out after usage. Prominent people of the town would be bathing in this bath, it is presumed. Next, 14th question. Which alloys were in use in this civilization? What are their traces? Answer. Bronze has been one of the important alloys found in ancient civilizations. The copper needed to create the alloy was available in Baluchistan, Rajasthan, etc. People had mastered the art of bronze making after centuries of effort. Such technology helped them create several items from hard tools to mirrors. Next question, 15th. Who created the myth of Arya Dravidya? Answer. In the later half of 19th century, the British resorted to divide and rule Indians on the basis of caste and religion. Arya Dravida division was created for the sake of it. Christian missionaries first proposed and propagated that the word Dravida was indicative of a tribe. Okay, next. Sixteenth question. It is under third main. Answer the questions in seven to eight sentences. So these are long answers. It is provided in the points. So you can easily remember it and learn it. So question 16. How was the township construction done in Sindhu Saraswati civilization? Answer. They were planned and built quite systematically. Well-planned houses, roads and drains can be seen there. The houses were built with bricks and walls were strong. Generally, the houses were of one or two stories. The inner core space had rooms surrounding. The doors faced the street. None of the windows were street facing. The houses had baths, some with wells for water supply, 
water availability was abandoned. Towns had internal drainage system, the drains of which were built with bricks and covered with stone slabs. The drains of houses were connected to the external drains. Okay, so this is 16th answer and these are in the form of points that it is easy for you all to remember and learn it. Now, next question, question number 17. Sindhu Saraswati civilization seen show the continuity of Vaidika tradition. Explain how. Answer. The seals show still undeciphered script. They could engrave scripts on the seals even back then. Rishabha Bull is one of the most important figures found on seals of those times with the leaf of the sacred figure, people or Ashwata, tree being another prominent figure on the seals. Several idols with different yoga and namaskara postures are also seen. Rishabha, Shiva's vehicle, also stands as figure of dharma. The leaf of a figure tree, also known as Yajna Bruka, then yoga, one of the Vaidika aspects, all these facts point at the continuation of Vaidika tradition since the Sindhu Saraswati civilization times. Okay, so these are the points for this answer. Now next, 18th question. How was the social system during the Vedic age? Answer. Vedic times had Brahmana and Shatriya Varnas based on several characteristics and lifestyles. Those who were mainly into learning and teaching were Brahmanas, while the ones who were responsible for protection and nurturing of the societies were Kshatriyas. The common people were called Visha. Vaishyas were those who were into trade and commerce. Shudras were those who were into physical work at every level. There were Sabha and Samiti in administrative system to provide guidance. The priest, army general and village head and others used to assist in administration. The priest used to be the king's guru and guide. Village heads used to look after the well-being of people in villages which were the basic blocks of administration. Okay, so this is the answer for the social system during Vedic age. Next, 19th question. How were the farming and trading practices in Vedic age? Answer. Sindhu Saraswati population were dependent on farming and trading. Wheat, barley and pulses were their primary crops. The bullock cart modeled and used back then is still in use in almost the same way. Hunting and fishing were also vastly practiced. Cotton farming was done to manufacture textile. Since several of the towns of the era were situated on the banks of rivers, it is obvious that they were experts in irrigation which helped in their farming. They were involved in rearing of cattle including bull, cow, buffalo, and sheep, goat, and poultry. Oxen were used to plow the fields. Commerce and trading were equally important to them. Urban centers used to trade with countryside and foreign nations like Balochistan, Saurashtra, and Deccan regions were prominent among them. Lothal was their primary trade center so these are the points of 19th question that is farming and trading practices in Vedic age. So with these few questions, we come to an end of this chapter's notes. I hope this notes, this video was helpful for you all. And if you like the video, do hit the like button. And if you want the previous lessons notes, do visit the description box and see the video for the whole notes. Stay tuned for more such videos and subscribe to the channel Scorpio Class. Subscribe Scorpio Class Kids and Scorpio Class Hindi channel too. Thank you.